Hello, my name is Rich Bodine. I'm the chief instigator of the Nevada City Adult Soapbox Derby Races. It's a benefit event for our parks and our community. So the Nevada City Adult Soapbox Derby is a uh, just that, and it's an adult soapbox derby. It's a gravity race down a half a mile stretch of city street that we close off for the day. You build a car that's $500 maximum budget, and there's guys that can get super creative with $500. Let's do this thing! Let's do it! Speed guys have a weight limit of uh, just over 400 pounds, and the art cars are up to 700 pounds, because that way you can really make it creative. Art cars, examples would be you know, a giant Mr. Potato Head in a red wagon or a triplane like Snoopy used to fight, you know, the Red Baron's plane. There's lots of different creative ideas and we want people to just come up with their own ideas and not worry about what we have uh, other than some rules for safety. You gotta have functional steering and brakes. Five feet wide, 12 feet long, and eight feet high is the, the parameters that you're supposed to build in. Other than that, have fun. So there's speed guys and art guys and artistic speed guys and fast art cars. I'd say average age of car builders is probably 40, 50 years old. Uh, our oldest participant so far has been 84 years old and the youngest is 18. Someday maybe I'd like to race down the hill when I'm old enough. If I could build uh, any derby car to go down this hill, I'd probably build a giant hamburger. <laughs> well, the first year we started the event, we thought if we have 500 people show up to watch and we had 20 or 25 cars zip down the hill, then it would be a success. And our first year we had almost 5,000 people show up to watch the race and we uh, sold out. We had 42 cars in the race. Nice, nice race. That was a good race. <laughs> What's well, a great race? Great. This is the fourth annual Soapbox Derby, and I have participated in all four years. I have not got my results yet for this year, but traditionally I finish either fourth or fifth. It's uh, very beautiful to see so many people come out, and uh, it's a real good community that they want to do good for each other and help out. You know, we just had a person whose car broke and other people just showed up with repair parts and fixed it. Even though they're competitors, they're still all in this together. It's a real good environment to be in and a, and a great day to be doing this. And, and the people who put it together are, are quite amazing. The Nevada City Soapbox Derby is a significant event for the community because it helps to benefit Pioneer Park. And Pioneer Park was a park that's been always kept up to decent standards, but with this event, we've been able to put in some really nice modifications and especially things like, uh, I believe this year the proceeds are going to a water bottle filling station. Well, if you're going to take the time and effort to, to do an event, then why not make it a benefit for something? And we use the park for the scouts, and my kids like to play here and recreate. It's kind of a centerpiece of the community, and we thought, why not just make it a benefit for the park? Well, right now we're standing at a bocce court that was the first project that was put in from funds from the Derby after the first year. There's water fountains that we put in that are brand new to the park. They have the capability of filling water bottles as well. So to me, those are the things that really motivate me and, and get me excited about the Derby. I've put together a lot of events in my life and um, typically they're just for fun. So I used to be in a rotary club and was in charge of a casino night. I've put on golf tournaments before um, for places I've worked, things like that. Right now the derby is put together in my spare time. I travel for work and so I have hours of time in the hotel room in the evenings, you know, on weekends and in between uh, doing family activities. Three, two, one. Racers are off, over. 
<laughs> Rich catching up. Rich does such a fantastic job of coordinating this event. He gathers everyone together to get this event going, and he's the one that had the idea to start it after he visited the Portland race. And he's really been the driving force behind keeping it going every single year. In fact, uh, every year he's the guy that sends me an email saying, come on, we need one more car, just one more car. And uh, I know he works his hardest to keep the cost down and to benefit the park as much as he can. The satisfaction that I get from putting on the race is again twofold. One is the excitement of listening to all the stories from the racers themselves. And the other half is, again, at the end of the day when the race is over, there's typically a small pile of money left over and taking that money and deciding, okay, well, what can we do with this? What can we do to make the community better? But I don't do the race for me, I do it just to give back.